All right, so we made it to Cleburne State Park. Um, it's me, Luke, and uh, my nephews. So should be pretty cool. This park is amazing. Uh, it's really, really close to Fort Worth, like maybe 30 minutes away. And uh, there seems to be some pretty decent trails that we're gonna head up tomorrow. Um, but the, I think the highlight here is gonna be, oh, <laughs> look out for the sand fight. It's gonna be this beach area. Uh, the water is just crystal clear. Um, they do have a boat rental uh, up here, so you can rent kayaks and canoes. It's 20 bucks an hour. Uh, we hey! brought the you paddleboard. Whoa. It's got some intense stuff going on there. Why don't you build a castle, bud? Hey, did you have fun on the paddleboard? Did you almost fall off? Yeah. He's he's pretty intense with this sand building, castle building. Uh, they do have a park uh, right behind this area. Huge uh, bathroom with showers. Uh, so really, really cool accommodations. We're parked right up by the beach. So really easy. We ended up uh, over here. So you can, um, I'll show you the campsite. You can paddle out of your campsites as long as you get a campsite by the water. Oh, careful. It's uh, a sand fight territory, so you gotta be you gotta be careful on this beach. Um, but yeah, looks like there's some pretty decent trails. I really like the fact that it's so close uh, to the DFW area, so you're not having to travel. And the country here is beautiful, as you can see. Um, but yeah, put some uh, footage of the trails and kind of what this park has to offer, and kind of throw it up. Probably somewhat of a short video. Um, really, really not that far and pretty easy state park to get to. One cool thing to mention is, uh, I do not want the, uh, I do not want ice cream. Mmm, mm, mm, ice cream. Thank you. Uh, one thing to mention about this area is you can get pretty far out into the water uh, and it's not deep at all. So it's a really, really cool little area just to play. Like these dudes are standing right now as they push it. Hop on, man. I have the alarm. Oh. Yikes. So, really, really cool beach area. Cool campsite. Again, I'll put some footage of the campsite. Uh, but yeah, Cleburne State Park. Make it out here. Alright, so, so far, Lake Cleburne, or just Cleburne State Park. It's not really like Lake Cleburne. Lake Cleburne is a little bit west of here and south, but um, it's a really good park. I really like it. Um, you're not really gonna see any primitive camping. There's some equestrian sites, and um, there are some, uh, everything has power and water, so electric hookups, so all these that wanna go glamping, this is the perfect spot, because you're not gonna have to rough it at all. You can park up to every spot, and uh, you got electricity, so you can charge the electronics if you need to, or whatever you need, um, you know, as always, if you watch any of my videos, I'm really about kind of like roughing it, but you know, when it's not roughing, it's kind of fun. I, I brought my nephews, uh, or my cousins out here, my little cousins, and you know, for their first time really going camping in a while, I think it kind of is a cool idea. They were really cool about leaving their phones out, did not take out their phones or anything like that, so that was kind of cool. And then um, they had a lot of fun at the water area. Like I think really, really the highlight of uh, Cleburne State Park is going to be the water tank because it is really really clear um, It's really really deep and there's a nice little beach area Where it doesn't get deep for a while so you can go out in the kayaks if you fall off. It's not a big deal um, It's really nice. I really haven't checked out the trails yet. There's a few trails. We're gonna hit them up for sure I'm kind of on one of them right now, but It really just connects two campsites to each other um, the amenities here are really good. Uh, the bathrooms are nice. Uh, the campsites are really good. You got like a lot of really cool waterfront campsites. Um, and maybe if you have a trailer camping, this is probably like the spot to go. Uh, there's still a lot of really neat stuff to do. And it is some extremely beautiful scenery. Um, there is some type of a processing plant so if you are tent camping on the popular 
loop campsite. Uh, you're gonna hear that for sure. Um, so that's a little bit distracting, but still really, really nice state park. You know, nice amenities. And then I'll kind of show you here up on our site, kind of what we're working with as far as being next to the water. Uh, all the little dudes are asleep. It is 8.18, so they are way past what I would normally wake them up and shake them around, but uh, I kind of want to be fair and let them let them sleep in a little, so they're not hating life when we go hiking later. But these are our spots. All right, so the dip was awesome. Definitely got us cooled off, ready for the hike. This particular trail, you're gonna have to kind of follow the road for a little bit to get back on the trail, um, but it keeps going. And again, we are having a blast. I think the water really changed everybody's attitude about enjoying it. So I think if we find another little cutout spot where we can jump in, we'll probably do that further down the trail as well. Um, there's, there's a few mountain biking trails here too. I think we're just gonna do the walking trails because uh, there's a lot of switchbacks. But so far, so good. Cleburne State Park is awesome. I'm on the road. You're on the road? Okay, that's okay. All right, we found the second opening to the trail. So just about 100 yards. Yep, you found it. Wow. I might hyperlapse some of this and uh, put it together. All right, so we made it to the dam. So, relatively small trail. Uh, All right, so we found the base of the dam. Uh, this spot is awesome. Uh, looks like we got Kind of the spillway or the spill over right here it's probably to relieve uh dam so this is probably to relieve pressure if the dam gets too full it'll come through here and cut through this little creek uh so this trail just keeps getting better and better because there's a lot of really cool stuff i'm gonna try to here carefully i think if luke can do it i can do it So, the guys are loving it. <laughs> it looks awesome. So yeah, if you uh, have a chance to get across the dam, get some pretty cool sights and we're gonna finish the rest of the trail. All right, we found this really cool trail Dude, that like runs. Some real Tomb Raider stuff right now. Yeah, some, <laughs> we found some Tomb Raider trails. Um, but we found a trail that runs alongside the uh, dam, and if you just cut on the side, you can kind of peek through it. We're just going to see how far it goes. Um, looks pretty fun. Uh, there's a lot of limestone, so uh, do not climb on limestone. Take my advice, it will break very quickly. So 
I know how fun it looks to climb on limestone, but just don't do it. Um, but there is a steep little uh, stair, not super steep stair right here, that we should be able to climb up. And yeah, we can come up here. There, if you wanna go further up, there's an easier spot, but so we found a little, a little up spot. Ugh, we get to the top and I think we mapped, we uh, matched up to the trail. And as you can see, the view is awesome. So again, uh, really worth it for the trail. Awesome, check it out. Peace. All right, so we finally made it to the red trail, which is kind of like the final stretch. Um, we got snacks. Uh, if you follow where the yellow trail meets the red trail, you're gonna get to a sunset point. So if you wanna get that perfect sunset shot, there's also a swimming area there, but there was a bunch of people already swimming, so we don't wanna jump in right there. So we're gonna look for another, another cool swimming spot. Um, we've been hiking for about an hour now, and we've traveled about 1.4 miles, so not bad. It is getting a little bit more harsh as you get through here, but that's to be expected because we're coming back down uh, the edge of the ridge that we climbed up. And Luke's tailing it up, but he's got graham cracker fuel powered by graham cracker. So I'm gonna do a little bit of hyperlapse through here and uh, at least hopefully try to find another water point. So this is the red trail. I'm sure it has a name. I don't remember it right now, but very awesome. All right, so the back side of this trail is actually pretty challenging. Um, it's a lot of fun though. Lots of ups and downs. Uh, we're trying to catch up to them. My cousins definitely cut ahead of us a little bit further, so we're catching up with them. I think they're done. I think they're done stopping, but yeah. It's been really, really fun. There's a lot of ups and downs on the back end of this trail if you start from the headquarters, I'm sure if you started from this end back to the headquarters, you're gonna have a sh uh, easier back half, I guess. But there's plenty of shade throughout the trail. So even in the dead of day, in summer, it's not gonna be too terrible. But uh, yeah, so seems to be a pretty popular trail. Yeah. What do you think, Luke? Good? You having fun? All right. So yeah, I think I'm gonna close it out here. So in ending, Cleburne State Park is very fun. There is a great beach area. There's plenty of day use areas. There's enough trails to keep you busy and keep you entertained. Um, there seems to be some mountain biking area and then some cool cliff areas. So um, if you're wanting to hit up a state park, uh, you don't want to go too, too extreme. Uh, this is less than an hour and a half from Fort Worth. So pretty simple to get to. Uh, and all the sites are pretty chill. They're all electric and water sites. So you won't have to rough it too much. And if you do want to rough it, like we did with the tents and no technology, you can because they have some pretty cool spots. Uh, make sure you reserve a week ahead of time Especially right now because parks are still at 75% capacity and it just turns out that parks are just a lot more popular now so there are a lot of people um, going to parks that never used to do it so it's gonna get booked up quick but that's great I love it and that's the whole point is for people to get out into nature peace All right, as the final twist to the adventure is, is over there we were able to hike over here, so they jumped in the water to chill. I am paddleboarding the rest of the way there. So as I said at the end, there'll be a little bit of a twist. The twist was this adventure ended with me having to paddle to the car to come pick them up <laughs> so we don't have to hike the rest of the crazy 
Uh, the rest of this trail is really just uh, road, so not very fun. Uh, and it's already getting kind of warm, so super glad to end this. It was a great day, great camping night, and until I do another one, peace.